in this TikTok video right here, there's a trend going on on TikTok where women without kids, you know, they make a TikTok, they say what age they are, they say no kids, and they say the clock is ticking. What they're referring to is, you know, your fertility clock. You know, a lot of people like to say when you get in your late 30s, you know, you have to start worrying about having kids, your time is ticking or whatever like that. So there's been a trend going on with black and white women and women of other races who don't have children um, making TikTok videos like this. Now, I totally get it because a lot of people believe that when you start to get older that your clock is ticking and you need to rush to have kids, you need to rush to get married. You know, some women want to get married, some women don't. So basically, the women that are a part of this trend, they're living their best life. They're traveling, they're getting money, they're enjoying themselves, they're loving on themselves without children and without no man. And so they basically started a trend on TikTok. Now, now I'm seeing black women, because it's always black women. Black women, I don't know what it is, but a lot of black women, majority of them got children. Sometimes they hate to see women that don't have children. They hate to see them happy. A lot of times they hate to see them gloating about not having kids, being child free, traveling, enjoying their life. They're not tied down to a man. They're not somebody's slave around the house, cooking and cleaning, cleaning up behind a man, uh, loving on a man that may not even like them. Because a lot of women that are in relationships with men and married to them, they would not believe it. But a lot of their husbands and their boyfriends, they really don't like them. They just kind of keep them around to, you know, keep the bed warm, to hold a place, to clean up behind them, to cook and clean, and to bear their children. But what I'm seeing now is black women, because it's always black women now. They always got a problem with women being carefree, child-free, not worried about a nigga, not weighed down with a whole bunch of kids, don't got kids out of wedlock, don't got kids, period. It's like they, they get irritated by that because majority of them, they got these kids. And majority of these kids are out of wedlock. And majority of black women are single mothers. That's just facts. When you come in contact with a black woman, there are some married black women, but a lot of them are married and they're still single mothers. You know, I don't like to say single mothers, but they're still taking care of the children and, like, their husband is not really doing anything. They're still out here working and, you know, providing for the home and stuff like that. They're not really stay-at-home stay wives because they work too, you know what I'm saying? And they do all the work and pay all the bills with these black males or whatnot. But there's black women that got children. Now they want to start jumping on this trend. Now they want to say, I got kids, but I still travel, and I do all of that. You know, they always got to be the ones to come and try to throw in having all these fucking kids. If these women don't want to have children, if they're not concerned about having children and trying to get married and they're just trying to live their life, they don't care what age they are. They just want to be the best them, focus on their career, travel, get money, you know, buy homes, buy cars. And just want to, you know, have fun out there in the dating field. Um, what's the problem? But it's always black women that do that. Now, this trend has been popping off. And here comes a black woman that got three goddamn kids out here making a video trying to do the same thing they're doing. I'm doing this with kids. Why y'all always hating on women who ain't got no children? Why y'all always do that? And I realize that a lot of y'all that got these kids out of well up and that are weighed down with these children, y'all hate to see child-free uh, black women that are carefree. Y'all can't stand it. Because deep down inside, a lot of y'all do not want them kids, do not like them kids. You are you were left and abandoned with them kids. You have no choice. Some of you are saying, oh, I can't get an abortion. I can't do that. No, you want the kids because a lot of times y'all have children for selfish reasons. It's not really about the kids. It's about you trying to find unconditional love. You trying to get money, get taxes off the children. Um, you having the kids to keep your baby daddy. It's usually stuff like that. You lonely. You ain't never been loved. So you want to have a baby so you can have unconditional love. I hear that happens a lot with black women. But why when women... 
that are child free gets on social media and flex that they are child free. Why you always find a way to always want to jump into something? And it's always black women doing that. Why you want to do that? We know majority of y'all are mothers. We know. We know majority of y'all are mothers. Majority of y'all are single mothers. This is just the facts. We know majority of y'all got kids with black males. This is just facts. Why you feel the need to jump in that trend and make it about you? They weren't dissing women with children. They were pretty much just flexing, saying they ain't got kids at this certain age, and they're out here living their best life. Why are you mad at that? You tell me, I'm a mother, I'm still doing the same thing. You're not doing the same thing as them, because you got to worry about children. If you go on these vacations and these trips, you got to take your kids with you, or most of you uh, leave your children with your mama, your grandma, your babysitter. It's still not the same thing. I'm sorry, regardless. Yeah, you can travel as a mother, but it's still not the same thing. You still got something at home you got to worry about. These women do not. If they want to be gone for months and months, they can't. You would have to be calling back, finding out what's going on with your child, uh, you know, sending money so your child can be taken care of. You would have other responsibilities that these women do not. It's okay. If you want to be a mother, you want to be a wife, that's fine. There's women that don't want to be a wife. They don't want to be tied down to no man. They don't want to go the traditional route. They don't want kids. Some want kids, but they want them later in life. What's the problem when black women get up here and talk about being child-free? What's the problem? That's because y'all want everybody to be in the same situation as you. A lot of times y'all encourage other black women to have children out of well lot. And to do what you do so they can be miserable like you. No, ma'am. It's not the same thing. Yes, a mother can travel. She can get money. But she has a responsibility that these women that are child-free, carefree, does not. They don't have to spend their money on a kid. They can spend their money on themselves. If they got pets or whatnot, they can spend money on the pets. But they're not spending it on no children like how you would have to. You would have to pay for child care. But some of you don't even pay your mom and your grandma to take care of your kids, your sisters. You just throw them on them. Trying to still live the single life like you ain't got no kids. Trying to live the child-free life. But I don't see why that was necessary. It wasn't. And that's all I have to say about that. Bye-bye.